Hi, Fabian here. All right, let's settle this once and for all. If you're struggling to decide between Semantic Kernel and Autogen for your AI projects, this video is for you. I've had around four conversations this week alone with teams wrestling with this very choice. Let's break it down by looking at two blog posts from Microsoft, and I'll put the links in the description as well. All right, blog post number one is their roadmap. Actually, it's this one right here. Blog post number one is their roadmap, and we want to anchor in on this section right here and this section down here. All right. So straight from Microsoft's roadmap, Autogen and Semantic Kernel are converging. But there's a clear distinction. Autogen is fantastic for research, multi-agent experimentation, and cutting-edge AI patterns. But if you are building production-ready experiences for you and or your customers, then Semantic Kernel is the choice for you. All right, let's take a look now at the second blog post, and we're going to anchor in on this paragraph right here specifically, the last two sentences moreover. So you can see this, Microsoft themselves say it. Autogen is a powerful open source research tool, but Semantic Kernel is stable, it's version, and it's backed by enterprise grade support. If you're deploying AI at scale, you want that reliability. So here's your takeaway. Research, Autogen. Production and enterprise, Semantic Kernel. And the best part is that they're aligning to make this transition between the two even easier. You are not locked in. Choose based on your needs today. In the meantime, if you want to take a look at some of the videos I have out here, I've been going through a lot of what Semantic Kernel is doing, especially around the agent pattern. And if you found this helpful, drop a like, hit subscribe, and let's make AI easier to understand.